Hey everyone, I'm Cameron from speedcubeshop.com and today I have a video that will hopefully change your life. So buckle up and let's get right into it. One of the most common complaints that we hear about at speedcubeshop.com is, what is that annoying sound when I'm turning my cube? Or what is that grinding sound? And nine times out of 10, it's going to be spring noise. The only other time it's not gonna be spring noise is if you have a loose magnet, which sounds more like a rattle. Spring noise is something that is extremely easy to dampen because you can't necessarily 100% eliminate it. There's a ton of factors that go into play with spring noise. It's gonna be how much lubricant is on the spring in the hardware, climate, what lubricant you use, and how many solves you're doing in terms of the lubricant to eventually wear out. So again, tons of factors, but we're gonna kind of get right into it and show you how to remedy it. So to get started, you need two things, a cube with spring noise and some lubricant. I personally recommend any of our cosmic lubricants. I will have a link in the description down below if you don't have one. I very strongly discourage people from using kind of like home remedy lubricants or things like cooking oil or WD-40. Yeah, for WD-40, it is on hardware, so you might think it's okay, but honestly, it can cause so much damage to your cube, it's not worth it. Cube lube is cheap and it's tried and tested and works really well. So we have tons of different options for cosmic lubes. I would say that typically Lunar or Martian are a great one size fits all, but if you want more of a specific feel, you can go ahead and refer to our blog post down below to kind of decide which cosmic lubricant is right for you based on the feel that you're looking to achieve. So with that being said, I managed to pull the one RS3M that doesn't have very much spring noise because this cube is notorious for having tons of spring noise, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it anyway. So if you're turning your cube and you, let's say that you determine that the blue side has spring noise, all you need to do is remove one of the center caps and then you're gonna wanna put four to six drops of cosmic lubricant onto the spring directly. I typically recommend starting out with four. You can always add more if you need it, but it's a lot more of a pain to take the lubricant out of the cube. So to do that, all you're gonna do is just put the lubricant into the puzzle and you're gonna go ahead and line it up to where when you put your drops, you tilt the cube so that the drops are gonna go right onto the spring. And then you're gonna go ahead and then just work in the puzzle and by typically doing a few U2 flicks, uh, maybe 20 to 30 times until you hear the spring noise dampen and you will also feel the layer of the cube speed up quite a bit. One thing I don't recommend is to only lubricate one side of the cube's hardware. If you're gonna do one side, you may as well do all other five sides. So go ahead and just do this on all six sides. It should take you probably a few minutes or so and yeah, go ahead and do that and that will successfully dampen the spring noise. If after you do this, you are still dealing with a lot of spring noise, you might wanna actually take the hardware apart and then you can actually soak the spring itself in a little bit of lubricant for usually an hour or two and then you can go ahead and reinstall it back in the cube and that should eliminate the issue. Keep in mind that the less expensive cube that you have, the more likely it is to have spring noise and other hardware quirks because there are gonna be lower quality materials used to manufacture the cube, whereas higher end models like in Moyu or GAN cubes that have springs typically don't suffer from this quite as much, but it still is a possibility. So I hope this video helped you guys out and it was informative. If you have any questions about removing the spring noise or dampening it, let me know in the comment section down below, but I think I hit just about everything. Don't forget to check out our Cosmic Lubricants at the link in the description down below. And remember, if you're not too sure which lubricant you want to choose, we do have a loop sampler available, which gets you a discount on all of the ones that are available. And we also have a blog post down below to help you make the decision on which one is best for you. So check out those links and I will see you on the next video. Bye.